Hey guys, it's Holly. Um, so today I thought I would share a post with you. I did this experiment for the entire month of January and it worked. <laughs> I wanted to challenge myself to make $100 using Pinterest um, in a month and see if I could make something that I thought would work actually work. And it did. Now, what I'm doing is actually sharing um, affiliate links on Pinterest and I'm doing it strategically each day, Monday through Friday. And it only takes me about maybe 10 minutes and I do it every morning for 10 minutes. And I managed to actually come away with $108 um, in the month of January. Now I wanna do some disclaimers here at first. Number one, I have, as you can see here, over 19,000 followers on Pinterest. So I have quite a few followers and people who are seeing my pins on a regular basis. If you have quite a low number, you may not see these results. Um, if you're interested in learning how to grow your Pinterest, I have a blog post that I will link um, below or on the blog for this particular video um, showing you some of the things I've done to grow my Pinterest account and how I manage that on a daily basis. And number two, I'm actually using um, a Pinterest scheduler called Tailwind and a looping feature called Board Booster. Now, before you say, well, how you're spending all this money on these things to only make $100? Well, no, I'm not. I actually have had those programs and have been using them for my own business to promote my business and to grow my Pinterest. And Pinterest actually drives, um, you know, oh gosh, it was close to 60, I think I recently checked it, it was like 68% of the traffic comes to my blog comes from Pinterest. So it's a marketing feature that I use. I also use the affiliate links for those programs to help get discounts on them. So I'm not paying full price. So if you're interested again in learning how to grow your Pinterest account, you might want to look into those features. And again, I will link to the post to where that is. So those are two things that um, I did want to um, you know, make a disclaimer about to start with so that everybody was fully aware of how that works. Um, also, I do have Rich Pins set up on my Pinterest account because I do have a blog and so everything is set up to work that way. My blog is also branded so it's only sharing um, boards of things that my readers would like. I don't share my I don't share my favorite recipes or fitness tips or decorating tips or things like that. This is specifically things that my audience is interested in. So if you have not branded your Pinterest for that way, you really should think about doing that. So yeah, I still pin recipes, but guess what? They're on secret boards. So I try to keep everything pretty branded um, and I try to make sure um, I am doing all of that pretty strategically. Okay, so let's talk about how I actually do this process and what I did. So what I did was I determined that I would spend 10 minutes each morning, Monday through Friday, sharing 10 links from Creative Market. Now let me just go over to Creative Market here. Um, so Creative Market, if you're not familiar with them, is a graphic design resource uh, place that um, offers things like fonts, and Photoshop mockups and um, other kind of graphic type items, which are things that my audience is interested in. So this works well for me. If you are not doing this type of a marketing promotion, maybe look at another way to do affiliate links for this. Um, so basically, let me just minimize my board here. Um, zoom that down okay so basically this is this is the process that i do and like i said this takes me about 10 minutes a day um you get really fast as you start doing it um but i pick 10 products and typically what i do is i go to creative market and you do need to apply for their partner benefit program i think you can come down to the bottom go to partner benefits on creative market and um, you can get 10% off uh, or 10% on all referred customer purchase for the, for the year um, and click through. As you can see, um, in the past, I've made, I'm mean, total, I've made over $2,000, but I wasn't serious about it until this month. So, you know, I'm hoping to make that grow even more. Um, but um, let's see. There are some articles here, tips for making money when you share your uh, creative market products, etc. So you might want to read those. So you do need to apply for that if you're not familiar with that. 
Okay, so what I do to pick my 10 items is on the homepage, I typically will scroll down, down to the bottom to the hand-picked area. And here's what I do to make this work really fast for me. I'm gonna go ahead and close Pinterest and just keep this window open here. I hold down my command key, which opens up a new window. I believe on PC that might be control. So I hold down my command key and I click on 10 items that I want to share and um, open those up in new windows up here. I'm not even even looking at them right now um, that I think my audience might be interested in seeing. And they have to be things that I like too, guys. Um, if they're not, it's not, I would never do it. Um, and then a lot of times I try to make sure these bundles are in there because these are pretty big payoffs. Or I can come up into um, something that my audience is interested in, like um, uh, um, product mockups. And I'll go to handpicked first because I want to see and some of these I've already shared because I, so I don't want to share them again. Um, you know, I try to get a good variety and I count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's seven. Um, oh, this is a great set here. Eight. I have that. I love it. Um, I do try to share the things that I've bought, um, if I can. And, uh, um, yeah, so I just try to make sure that these are, again, are things that I know that people are going to want when they click on my um, Pinterest links. Now remember Pinterest is a search engine. It is not a social media site. Sorry, my internet that's a little bit slow. Um, it is not a social media site. It is a search engine. Um, it's just a visual search engine, engine which makes it amazing. Seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, there's 10. So I'll close out that homepage and I have each one of these open in their own window. All right, so I do that first, open 10 of them, and then I repeat that process, but I click on the graphic. So I'm going to hold down my command key. I click on the graphic. I open that one up. I drag that over to my desktop so that picture is there. I close that. I go to the next one. And as you see, you get, like I said, you get really fast at this. That's why I said it only takes me uh, 10 minutes to... Um, to do this. <laughs> um, I got, I've gotten really quick. You make sure you're not closing down the page where the information is, just that one that you opened with that graphic itself, because I want that bigger graphic for Pinterest. Um, so I'm gonna come in here and just do that. And this is actually a really great bundle. Um, these guys are super nice. Uh, let's see, go in here and going to complete this and this bundle is amazing if you don't have it you should get it I love it it's one of my favorites I use it for my Etsy shop all the time to show my my designs off on mugs it's really cool and this last one these are styled stock social banners which people really like okay so now i have done all of that right and i have this i don't want to close this yet but i am going to open up an actual new window i want my windows to be separate and i'll show you here in a minute so i'm going to go to tailwind if you're not familiar with tailwind you can go down below um, to the blog post and um sign up via my affiliate link i do get a kickback from that but it is because i love it <laughs> um okay and so in here you have your dashboard and if you were to come over here, you're going to hit click on that publish tab and drafts. Um, and this, you guys, Tailwind is amazing. It saves up so much time and I can get my 50 pins a day super easy using this. All right, so I have my drafts tab here and it says I don't have any drafts and it'll give you some recommendations if you wanna do those. Okay, so now I'm just gonna take my images over here and I'm just gonna drag down here and drop them below and it's going to load them to uh, Tailwind. So these are all the images that are going up into Tailwind. If you give it a minute, it'll load up here. I'm going to go over here to the right and just click and move all those to the trash. I don't want them on my desktop anymore. All right, so now I take these two windows and just put them side by side. And I know me explaining this is probably think you're thinking 10 minutes, uh, but trust me, it gets faster, so much faster. If I can get all three across, that's better. Um, and then I'll just shrink this one up a little bit more. So I have them side by side like this. Um, Unfortunately, they don't really load in the same order. Over here, I think they load by file name, so be aware of that. Um, so the first thing I do is I come over here and I click on my affiliate link, which will be here. 
So I'm just gonna copy that. All right, so I'm gonna go to this first one here. Now it's important, Pinterest, that you get your good keywords there in the very beginning um, because it will cut off, but you want people to search for those keywords. So this is a script font. So I might put script font um, and type it Espontis script. And I'll look at, I'll look usually in the description to see if there's anything um, I can't type and talk at the same time. Something simple like that. I'm not gonna go too crazy with it, but I'm using those words that people might be looking for. Um, I try to include the price. I paste my affiliate link and then I do the hashtag ad. I've, in the past I've been doing affiliate and then I recently read that that's not, that's not sufficient, that you have to put ad or sponsor. Um, so I just put ad. I don't, if that changes, it's because there's so many different things because Pinterest, I think only in the middle of last year started allowing affiliate links. And so um, that's on you to make sure you're doing that correctly, okay? All right, so and then I close that window and I go to the next one and I hit, I copy my um, affiliate link and then I come over here and I look for that one and I just, and I do the same process and I'm like, uh, pattern bundle 90s, the retro flare for graphic design projects, something like that. And then I write the price, the link, and add. I come over here and I close this window, go to the next one, and I just repeat this process until I'm done. So I'm gonna do that really quick and speed up the video and then we can talk about the next step that I do. Okay, so I did that. I had to go back and change my hashtags. I, I'm so used to typing affiliate, so I just want to make sure I don't have ad and have affiliate anywhere else. All right, so there's my 10 items, right? So I'm just going to hit save changes for a minute because I want to show you one other thing that I think you might be interested in for Tailwind, which makes it super amazing. One thing I forgot to mention before is I do belong to quite a few group boards that are very uh, relevant to my brand. And so that helps me get a lot of exposure as well. So start looking at group boards and learning how to join them as well. All right, so if you look over here, you'll see this item here called board lists. So what I love about Tailwind is that I can create a list that has all the boards I might pin for that particular um, item or that topic, and then it saves me so much time to just select mockups, and then it, it goes all those boards. And I'll show you what I mean here. So I go back to drafts, and again, I live in an apartment, so my internet is slow. <laughs> I'll come over here and I'm like, okay, so this is Photoshop action. So typically what I would do is look for what maybe I have created here for this. I'm gonna hit mockups because it's kind of mockups, but it's not. So I'm gonna, I can unclick of the things that don't matter to me. So I have it on my designer tools um, uh, group board, my Adobe, or my board, my Adobe Photoshop board, and then I'm in a group board called graphic design for bloggers. So I'm gonna do the same thing for this one because it's kind of the same. I'm just gonna take off social media. Same with this one, um, but on this one I'm going to do it, but I'm going to leave social media because they are social banners, right? But look how fast it's telling it to put it on all those boards. I mean, seriously, it makes life so <laughs> fast and amazing here. Um, and I can get I can get stuff on here so quickly. If I wanted to add other boards to these, I could as well. Uh, let's do my typography. Uh, this is another mock-up, which I think is cool. This is um, typography, and that should be all of them. So now I've told it to add it to all of these boards. Now, depending on what you're adding it to, you can do that as well. Now all I gotta do is hit this little green button down here called Schedule All Drafts and give it a minute to schedule them. Um, it takes a minute because like I said, my internet is slow. <laughs> and then you can look over here and you can, um, let's see, let it load. You can scroll and see where they get added to um, your feed. What I do because things start to get kind of built up quickly is I tend to come in here and hit my shuffle queue, shuffle queue, and it spreads the love around, which I think um, is very, very helpful. So 
that's what I do. I mean, it's really, really simple to do that. And last month, I missed several days too. I did not do every Monday through Friday last month. I There were some days I just forgot. Um, but I made $108 just doing that. And like I said, it only takes me 10 minutes to do it because I'm not talking and I'm doing it fairly quickly. The more you do it, the quicker it is. It's the first thing I do in the morning. Um, even before I check email, I do that just so it's up for the day and I make sure it's good. Now, I also make sure that I'm sharing helpful posts too. I'm not just trying to promote affiliate links. My Pinterest is made up of things and topics that are relevant to my my followers. So you also don't want to be sleazy and just be all advertising, if that makes any sense. That's why I only pick 10 a day to do. I don't do a ton that way. But $108 isn't anything to sneeze about. So if you're interested in learning how to make a little bit of extra cash each month, this is an easy way to do it. So hey, take advantage of it. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later. Mm-hmm.